Have you ever come across these videos promising guaranteed ways to learning to code and land a high paying tech job in record time? Are these too good to be true? Today, let's unpack why these claims can be misleading and explore if there are actually realistic paths for breaking into AI. I recently posted a LinkedIn poll asking, are boot camps a viable way to break into tech or are they more hype than help? The results were eye-opening. Only 7% said that boot camps actually work, and that included some people who attended boot camps themselves. So let's talk about boot camps, self-taught route, and even traditional university route. Do any of these actually work? Stick around to the end of the video. I'll be sharing what I believe are the best options out there. We've all come across influencers showcasing their tech success stories, sometimes making it look really easy. Boot camps often promise fast track to high paying roles and they can be good options for some people but they might not go deep enough for certain fields or provide enough support for you to actually land the jobs after completing the program because landing a job in tech is actually two folds first part is learning to code but second part is landing the job and they're not always the same. And not all options offer strategies for both. Boot camps usually rely on flashy marketing, testimonials, and certificates, but most employers don't really place too much weight on those certificates. Now, don't get me wrong, many engineers have successfully landed jobs after boot camps. I have personally seen them and worked with them during my time as a software engineering manager at Meta where I worked with lots of engineers from non-traditional backgrounds, including those who joined through the rotational engineering program at Meta. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jean, and I've been working in tech for almost 20 years. And there's a lot of things that always surprise me. One of them is how few people are aware of the real opportunities out there for people without a formal CS degree. But before we get to exploring these paths, Let's first discuss the bootcamp route. In the past, bootcamp grads had an easier time landing jobs, especially with fast growing startups. But today the job market has completely changed. It is more competitive, especially with many experienced workers re-entering the market after the layoffs of 2023. Does this mean bootcamps are a bad choice? Not necessarily. If you're changing careers and need a structured learning environment with mentorship, they can be a solid option. But it is important to choose wisely. Ellen, a graduate from Turing School, pointed out that while she believes her time at Turing was valuable, she would only trust coding bootcamps that reports its outcome data to the Council on Integrity in Results Reporting, CIRR. In 2020, there were 11 bootcamps on the list, and that number has dropped to 8 in 2021. And in 2023, there are only three left, which are Codesmiths, Code Platoon, and Hacktip 8. There were some people on the survey who believed that self-teaching route can be a viable option. For example, Sagar, a software engineer, pointed out on the poll that while boot camps offer structured learning and mentorship, they can be expensive and may not always cover topics in depth. Self-learning can be a cost-effective alternative. I do agree that the self-taught route is the most cost-effective way, but there is a catch. Self-teaching has a high dropout rate. For example, only about 30% of students finish Udemy courses. And even if you look at Andrew Ng's popular ML Ops course on YouTube, which is entirely free, you can see that views drop significantly from lesson number one being 154K. And by the end of the lessons, there are only 11,000 views left. If you are disciplined, self-taught route can be a good option, especially if you have a strong foundation in math and programming. It's much cheaper than bootcamp or degree programs, but it does require consistent effort over time for most people to make real progress. So does this mean a traditional university degree is the way to go? While a degree program can be a solid foundation, there are downsides to consider for this option as well. Cost is the obvious one. It's a huge financial commitment. And there is no guarantee that you will actually land a job right after graduation. Many graduates, especially in this job market, struggle to break into the field. There is a chance that by the time you've spent years and money on a degree, the tech landscape could have changed dramatically. Who knows, we might even be dealing with AGI in the future. So whether you choose a boot camp, self-taught route, or traditional schools, there are no shortcuts or a one-size-fits-all solution. Success comes from time, practice, and real-world experience. Katie, a head of product, commented in the poll that just showing up for class and completing all the homework and projects 
won't guarantee success. The key is to weigh the pros and cons for each option carefully. There's probably no perfect path, just the one that works best for you. Now, if you're still watching and you are determined to break into AI, ask yourself these questions. Number one, what tech rules excite me? Number two, how much time and effort can I dedicate? Three, what are my existing skills and experience? Four, how much can I afford to invest financially? And number five, why do I want to pursue a career in AI? Your answers for these questions will help guide you toward the right path for your unique situation. The good news is that despite the competitive job market, there are still ways to gain experience. If you do choose the degree route, internships are a great way to gain practical skills and build connections. Many companies are also open to hiring candidates from non-traditional backgrounds, including boot camps and self-taught learners. There are many companies that offer apprenticeship programs that provide hands-on experience, mentorship, and growth opportunities. Here's a list of programs that I found in just about 15 minutes of Google search. Microsoft offers the LEAP program offering a structured path to transition into tech careers. I will leave the links in the description so you can check it out later. Next is Accenture's apprenticeship program. They offer mentorship, training, and coaching for candidates without a traditional four-year degree. There's also the Pinterest apprenticeship program. According to the website, they offer early career opportunities, focus on hands-on learning. Airbnb Connect program is also open for bootcamp grads, self-taught coders, and associate degree holders. LinkedIn Reach is aimed at closing the opportunity gap for those with non-traditional backgrounds. Asana also has an apprenticeship program that provides mentorship and support. Also keep in mind that each program has its own application deadline, so I recommend creating a list to stay on top of the dates and not miss any opportunities. Now, if you have friends who are also looking for jobs, you can probably share the burden with them and divide and conquer to look for as many programs as possible. Now, before you apply to these programs, you still need to have a solid foundation, whether you go through traditional schooling, a bootcamp, or self-taught route, since many of them do have rigorous application process. If you are considering the self-taught route, I have created a step-by-step -step roadmap for mastering AI completely free of charge. You can check out this video for tips and common pitfalls that you can look out for while you're learning. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this one next. I'll see you there.